I'm here to talk about Christmas. I'm here to talk about the side of Christmas that a few of us know, hopefully not too many, but is a side that affects us a lot. We have lost the joy of Christmas, we have lost the feeling, maybe we never had that feeling, but we're essentially not happy around Christmas time. We get nervous, anxious, stressed, sad, and we feel like we're missing out of the joy and all the happiness. And we try everything we can, but to no avail, nothing is really that good or happy. So I stuff to the beginning. What happened is that the innocence and the happiness of Christmas got thrown away from me because of family events. Christmas is difficult for me because my father died when I was 19. He was an alcoholic and the last Christmas, the Christmas of 94, he was drunk on Christmas and he was mean tempered and he was threatening to take down the ornaments we had outside and just cancel Christmas for the family. He'd gotten dressed to go outside. My mom was trying to talk him down. I walked up to him and I told him that I was going to stop him no matter what. Something stopped him. I don't know if it was fear or sanity or something, but he backed out. He crossed Christmas that year. Then the next year, in November, he died. And whilst I mourned for him, I also felt a ton of relief because he had really been oppressive and this was actually the thing that helped me become what I am today. Helped me get from under his yoke and become a person. It took a long time though because I didn't understand anything. And it took me a long time to realize that I had lost completely all the joy. I just felt anxious, didn't feel the happiness. I tried to enjoy the food and the company and giving gifts. I like giving gifts. I like the spirit of Christmas, I just don't enjoy it. It's been taken away from me. I woke up last night because I was thinking about this video and that I would be talking to you guys and telling you and I was worried I would get really emotional. And the reason I'm talking about this is because I think we often don't realize that we're not alone, that there are others in the same situation. And when I realized this, it made me feel like I'm not that alone. What hurts me about Christmas it's a lot less than it used to be. I couldn't see ornaments, I couldn't see the Christmas tree, couldn't see the gifts, couldn't see, listen to songs on the radio, and the radio goes nuts. We have had two months of Christmas songs so far, and there are Christmas songs I really can't listen to even to this day. And those are the songs that I associate with Christmas Eve, which is the biggest day in Iceland. That was the moment, best part of Christmas for me. And I just survived Christmas, I started working on shifts. I try to take as many shifts around Christmas, even on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. I told myself that I was doing this to help the family people so they wouldn't have to do the shifts. And it was good money because you get paid extra around Christmas. But what I was really doing was avoiding the pain. This led to me missing out of the last Christmas my mom held, which is something I will always regret. And it makes Christmas even harder. When the last Christmas mom was alive, I rode my bike home after 11 o'clock on the shift. She had waited up and gave me her gift. I had asked her for one of three things. She gave me all of them and spent way too much money on me. She made the Christmas food and my favorite dessert. And I sat by the tree after she went to bed and I cried. I cried a lot. Four months late later, she was dead. Now I have a family, it's tough, and it's heartbreaking breaking and I can't enjoy it like I want to because of these things, because when I see everything happen, I just want to be alone, step away, and just not participate. And I'll try to live Christmas through Mia. I don't know how well I'll do. It made me realize that I had to find coping mechanisms. One of the coping mechanisms that works for me is to have a routine, do something you like to do. Don't get overly stressed. Make a list of things that need to be done. Take out all the things off the list that you think need to be done and just do the essential. Don't go polishing the silverware. Don't go 
cleaning the whole place two days before Christmas when you have yet to buy gifts. Buy the gifts months before. Think about who you want to give and who you feel like you need to give gifts. Don't give everyone gifts just because you think it's a polite thing to do. Call them instead. Wish them Merry Christmas in person. Be more personal. And I don't like sending Christmas cards because they are a waste of paper and the carbon footprint. <sighs> Take half of the things off the list. Make your day easier. And this is for everyone, not just those who are suffering from the Christmas blues. Do things you enjoy. This is the day before Christmas Eve and it's a kind of a Christmassy day. I went to the gym this morning and had a great workout. I'm coming home, I'm gonna eat my regular food and I'm just gonna try to do the same tomorrow. Make your own traditions. Don't hang on to the traditions that are painful. There are certain things that will always be painful, but you don't need to have 50 shots of glass on your bed if you can get away with two. Take away as many traditions as you feel you're comfortable with. You can do it, it's, it's not impossible, it's not easy, but you can do it. Because this is not just about you, this is also about the people you love and you spend Christmas with. Because they worry about you, they don't understand you, thank God that they don't understand you. But they care about you and they will get surprised and will have a hard time understanding why you're feeling glum. So try to talk to them about this, get them to understand as much as they can, and then take part in the traditions. I've been really lucky because with Sonia being Scottish they have a whole set of different traditions and it's been way easier for me to get into them because they don't remind me that much of my home, my, my Icelandic traditions, but the Icelandic traditions are always hard. Yeah, the first couple of Christmases were just a nightmare. Things improve and this year we're actually having two Christmases, the Icelandic one and the UK one. The main thing about Christmas is not the traditions. It's about the people. The traditions are just the framework. They encompass the holiness of it. Christmas is eventually winter solstice festival. Sorry if I'm stepping on someone's toes. Jesus will forgive me, he does that. Um, Christmas is not about the traditions. The traditions are the framework. Christmas is about being together with your loved ones and showing them that you love them. We use gifts to do that. The more expensive, the more love, right? Um, not wrong. It's about showing people that you love them. Give them a hug, spend time with them, chat with them and just enjoy each other's company. Most of you out there can do it, some of you can. Be with people around Christmas. Being alone on Christmas is something I have done and it's not pleasant. It's the worst thing actually. If you're feeling seriously down, you can't take it, call a hotline, helpline. Talk to a specialist. It will help. The, the big thing here is that you're not alone in this. No one is alone in this. And, and having loving family around you can help. If you don't, seek out friends. Go do something where you meet people, talk with people, sit down, talk, and enjoy their company as much as you can. Don't be alone. That's the worst thing. And more than anything else, have a Merry Christmas. This is a unicorn. You're a unicorn. Be a unicorn. This is gonna take you some time to edit. If you want the topless version, you have to let me know. I'm not gonna break into a Christmas song. One of the things you use when you deal with difficult things is humor. I've developed this dry humor and it works very well for me, but it drives people around me nuts at times because it's like I don't take anything seriously. But I do. Not many things, but I do take a couple of things seriously. This cough was especially for you, Sonia.